Excuse me. <clears throat> I take that frog for a ride. <clears throat> well, I am thankful for his mercy and grace to me. 27, almost 27 years I've walked with the Lord and how thankful I am for his mercies that were new this morning again. Uh, Pastor, I did want to uh, uh, present you with something this morning. I know you couldn't make it to the ladies' meeting. And uh, we had such a blessed time. I know you're a Tennessee fan, so do you mind? I'd like to Thank present you. you with something. Would you open it? Oh, I certainly will. Oh. <laughs> Got the colors. Amen. Where are you, Sue? No, where are you? I know you would have liked to have been at the ladies' meeting. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> Those who were here Wednesday night, you, you heard about that, right? That he wanted to come to the ladies' meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Estrogen patches used daily. <laughs> Welcome you back <laughs> 50 years from now. For 
those of you who were not in on that little joke, Wednesday night I was told at the Friday night meeting, Wednesday night pastor said he was not going to come to that ladies meeting with all that estrogen around. <laughs> So we gave him his dose. <laughs> My husband and I travel every long weekend. And usually, I'm the one to go out the door last and lock the front door. And sometimes, when I turn that key in the lock, the thought goes through my mind, I wonder if this is the last time I'll ever turn this key. You might say, well, that's a morbid thought. No, that's reality. Because the Bible says, what is your life? It's even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then passeth away. I want you to know from my own lips, if this is my day to go out into eternity, I know where I'll be. There's a few more years to sow and reap, a few more years to smile and weep, a few more years to wake and sleep, and then eternity. There's a few more miles for weary feet, a few more trials. spend it. who feel as I once did before I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ as personal Savior. I thought I was forgotten. I thought God hated me. I hated the things that I did day after day, and yet I was powerless to do anything about it. There were times when I thought about taking my own life, but then I thought, who would care for my three children like their mother? I wonder the people you live beside, you work beside, you shop with, do they feel forgotten? <laughs> Forgotten people, see them everywhere. Ask the Lord to help you care. Tell him that you want to share. None too great and none too small. Jesus said to love them all. Just 
search for what they've never known. Open up your eyes and see people just like you and me. Won't you help them willingly so that they Forgotten people, will you only care? That's what it takes, isn't it? Forgotten 